Well, these books are on mathematics. Except Martin has not only written books on mathematics, on puzzles, and magic. He's also written books on physics, philosophy, religion, literature, numerous magazine articles, short stories, mm -hmm. volumes of poetry for children, and even a semi-autobiographical novel. Throughout his writings runs a playfulness and an intellectual curiosity that attracted leading scientists to his column in the magazine Scientific American. There, every month for 25 years, he brought his readers mathematics and much more. The first of these columns featured the hexaflexagon, a three-dimensional paper puzzle that unfolds in surprising patterns. Well, this was the structure that was the topic of my first Scientific American column. And it's a very peculiar structure. It's made from one long strip. Um, and it's, it's just folded in a peculiar way. And then the ends are pasted together. Topologically, it's a Mebia strip. There were people all over New York who were making hexaflexagons out of paper and flexing them. <laughs> and... Uh, one interesting letter that they published in the following issue came from a reader who said he had made his hexaflexagon and he was busy flexing it and he caught his, the end of his necktie into the flexagon and as he kept flexing it, he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the column on hexaflexagons had almost very little math in it. It was a mathematical structure, but I didn't go into any details about it. Uh, but as you follow the columns, it, they, they get a little more sophisticated, and that's because I was learning math as I was writing it and reading books about it.